welcome back to Atreyu News. No surprise here, Loretta Lynch calls for a civil war. This guy, Real Vinnie James, says, Wow, so you still don't think Obama is planning to start a civil war? Let's listen to what this has been has to say. I know that this is a time of great fear and uncertainty for so many people. I know it's a time of concern for people who see our rights being assailed, being trampled on, and even being rolled back. I know that this is difficult, but I remind you that this has never been easy. We have all- Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What rights is she talking about? What she's talking about is the rights for a man or a woman who thinks they're the opposite sex to enter the opposite bathroom. What she's talking about is illegal immigrants being able to receive asylum and vote in the United States. What she's talking about is international corporations being able to dictate to America what she can and cannot do. What she's talking about is a world government in disarray since Trump's election. That's what she's really talking about. What this idiot right here, Loretta Lynch, is really talking about has nothing to do with the American people. Has to do with everyone else except the American people. As long as that's clear. Always had to work to move this country forward to achieve the great ideals of our founding fathers. And that has been people, individuals, who have banded together, ordinary people, who simply saw what needed to be done and came together and supported those ideals who have made the difference. They've marched, they've bled. Yes, some of them have died. This is hard. Every good thing is. We have done this before, we can do this again. You see how the communists would portray themselves as the good guys? They're the same ones who who allow violence and promote violence and anarchy, yet they appear like they attempt to be the good guys. It's fascinating. To understand thy enemy is how you crush it. The Obama administration's former, former Attorney General Loretta, sorry, Loretta Lynch has made an impassioned video plea for more marching, blood, and death on the streets, a video that was later posted on the Facebook page of the Senate Democrats as words of inspiration. Yeah, words of inspiration for an anarchist. We are on both two different sides of the war here. The video is less than a minute long without offering any specifics. Lynch goes on to say that our rights are being assailed, being trampled on, even being rolled back. Give me a break. Lock this person up. Treason. Katrina Pearson tweets about all the horrible things that have happened since Trump became president. She really is a beautiful woman, eh? Katrina Pearson, a lot has happened, more jobs, less burdensome regulation, economic outlook stocks, HBCU support, and that 53% approval rating. I still think it's way higher than that. It's got to be. Because the, the people doing the polling is the same people that said Clinton would win to 98%. Remember that? Hillary Clinton would win 98% for sure. It is funny, though. The stock market has not been higher in history and these people march in the street and say Trump's doing a bad job something tells me they have nothing to do with the stock market nothing to do with money nothing to do with realistic things they probably live off of the government and if someone gives you handouts you become complacent and I don't know there's something very strange about not working for what you have you don't actually appreciate it and you become like a degenerate complacent individual it's like a mental illness if you get things that you don't deserve it's strange meanwhile at berkey berkeley a series of pro-trump rallies were met by angry violent protesters across the country i suppose this is what loretta lynch is talking about the most violent clash occurred in berkeley california another guy beat up look he has his white privilege though right so this right here is white privilege to the left. LA Times reported, for the second time in a month, Berkeley was the scene of violent demonstrations as supporters of President Trump clashed with counter-protests Saturday on the streets of the city. At least 10 people were arrested and 7 others were injured 
as a series of disturbances mared as what was supposed to be a pro-Trump rally in the, excuse me, famously liberal community. The unrest underscores the heightened political tensions that have taken hold since Trump took office in January. Last month, a scheduled appearance by conservative provocateur Milo Yiannopoulos was canceled amid a violent protest on the UC Berkeley campus that sparked a national debate in which Trump himself took part about the line between the right to demonstrate and protecting free speech that some find objectionable. And that's just the picture there, a little bit of the clash there. I say just, uh, you know, it's like cancer or like a loser in your life. If you want to win, you got to cut this away. So I don't really know what to do with California. It, it, to me, with the things that happen, it seems like a cursed, fallen state. And if it is cancerous, cut it out. 